Hey guys, this is Kyle with the Board Drill Podcast, and tonight I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about hot pressures, uh, especially the hot pressures that the Vikings are running lately. They've kind of been the talk of the town. In the NFL, they're undefeated. Brian Flores is having a great year as the DC there, and a lot of us are very interested in what's going on. So I have uh, broke down every single Vikings game, including the latest one with the Jets, and really we want to look at these hot pressures and how uh, Flores is using them to his advantage. First off, in the coaching world, a lot of us know the hot pressures, you know, the hot two pressures, or Georgia calls them eyes pressures. We know them as brand six, and we have a two under three deep coverage. But Flores is also, after spending some time with Narduzzi and a couple of those other coaches, has developed a, a version of hot with one under four deep where they run various quarters concepts, and they're able basically to play somewhat of an umbrella match and be very aggressive downhill. Uh, forcing teams, especially in the NFL, to throw short into the flats, which is obviously not what a lot of offenses want to do consistently. So let's go ahead. We're going to click over and watch some of this game tape of the Jets and the Vikings and look at some of these pressures that we're talking about here. All right, so first one early on in the game. This is going to be one of those hot two pressures that we're talking about. So the Vikings are going to bring six, and they're going to have two under three deep. So as I bring this back a little bit, Again, watching this, what we're going to get here is we're going to get this guy coming right here. We're going to drop down. He's going to become the hot players right here, these two gentlemen right here. And then we have a deep safety right here. And then obviously the corners have their third. So again, as we watch it, we're going to see them come downhill. The backers or the two hot players are going to play aggressive to the run. That's why you see 51 working to the run down here. And the safety as he drops down is going to redirect with the screen. Does a really great job of beating the block. This may be one of the most egregious, you know, holding slash blocking in the back penalties I've ever seen. But because he does a good job being aggressive and getting Garrett Wilson to cut back inside, and there's a lot of pursuit inside, the corner is able to make a great tackle here on the edge after getting rid of the tackle. Go to the back shot here, take a look at it. Again, the, the one thing to keep in mind with these hot pressures, when you're bringing six, they do a very good job of staying gap sound. If you see this play right here, right now there is a purple jersey in every single run gap. Yes, I know they're going to turn around and throw a screen here. And as they throw that screen, we're going to watch the redirect, watch the purple jerseys flood into the football, right? They keep that aggressive mentality that Flores has taught them. And they do a great job, especially the corner and the safety here, like I said, of really avoiding blocks slash getting rid of blocks and making the tackle at the point of contact. Again, this is a screen kind of like a run. Uh, they love to run the hot two pressures on run downs. Um, again, here, we're going to get another one here as well. They're kind of aligned a little more in it. You can kind of really tell here, here are the six that they're bringing play action pass, right? Rogers going to take the shot downfield. The corner does a great job, probably a little handsy, but does a great job finishing through the hands and getting rid of the football. Let's check out the pressure on the backside. Again, this time that that will-ish linebacker is going to drop out. I, I say will-ish because, look, they play five, six linebackers at a time. So he's going to drop out. There's your two hot players right there. And then they're going to come right here with these six. So here we go. There's the pressure. Again, very gap sound. All right, but the Jets do a pretty good job here of, of having a pocket for Rodgers. They block this up pretty well. Good pass pro here. Rodgers going to take the shot. Again, it's only a two-man route, which is perfect for hot coverage. You got five covering, two men out on the route. Good to go. Great pass break up here. Now, here comes the big one on the day. A lot of people probably remember this. This is the pick six. Again, the, the uh, Vikings are going to stack now seven on the line of scrimmage, and they're going to pop one player. It's going to be right here. Remember, they're running a variation kind of of quarters. Uh, it's kind of a match, you know, to trips over here. Again, they do a very good job of really pay, playing like a flat-footed, almost umbrella. You can see as they play, and now they're going to get very good pressure here that we'll see here in a minute. And as he pops, right, Rodgers loves to check to those slants, those inside breaking routes, and we're going to see the linebacker pop, boom, right into it. Does a great job getting his hands up and then finishes the play. We always love to see a linebacker finish a play, especially in the end zone. Great pick six for the Vikings. It's an awesome job there. All right, so let's look at it from the back shot here. Here we go, right? Here's our six right here, but our pressure is going to come from these guys right here. 
right? This is our player popping. So as we watch, we're going to come again, very gap sound. It's going to need to fast forward a little quicker. Boom, there's the pop. Everybody's coming. Rodgers knows that he's got a free hitter on the left edge. On his blind side, he's going to turn and throw. And boom, right there into coverage. Again, where's he going? He's trying to get to Garrett Wilson, right? His go-to guy. So if we go back, you can kind of see five flash across the field. He's trying to go to the slant here. But again, great job popping. Good job finishing. All right, back to some hot two against the run here. So this time we're going to see again the edge coming to the weak side. All right. And so, again, the safety is going to pop down along with, you know, I guess the strong side interior backer. You can call him the mic if you want. And those are going to be your two hot players right here. And then that's what it looks like. Again, these two guys right here are going to play very aggressive in the run game. So let's go to the back shot and take a look at that. Okay, just like usual, understanding gaps of who's coming, right? We know the backside is going to be gapped out because we have all three of those guys coming. Boom, he's going to get to B. There's your C-gap player. Front side, front side here. And then obviously we have our linebacker left for the gap as well. So here it is finally against the run. We're going to see it. They do a great job of staying gap sound. And really the backside three tech is going to do such a good job crossing face here. He's going to throw the rip and create separation. And him and the play side backer are going to make the play here. Again, this guy right here. 51, he's a hot player. But because we know, especially in 12 personnel, that it's going to be so aggressive at the line of scrimmage, he can really fit the run and be late to the pass. So there he is fitting the run, does a good job filling his gap. Right, The backside three tech does a good job of getting flat down the line, not getting blocked. And then there's your other hot player for the cutback as well that's right there. So really these pressures are a great way and a super effective way to get eight guys in the box. So especially against those kind of Shanahan, Shanahan McVay offenses that wanted to go 12 personnel and they want to run outside zone and run split zone and all this, it's a great way to play with six on the line of scrimmage and another two hot players. That's eight guys in the box. There's really not a better way to play the run than to somehow insert eight guys into the box. Here we go. One more hot two pressure. Again, this is kind of more of a split zone look. So we have the tight end coming across formation. And what's so great about this and it's so aggressive is that he's not going to block anybody here. He misses the guy he's supposed to on the slice, and then we also have the backer as well. So let's take a look at it from this angle. Boom, right there. So our six guys that are coming are all on the line of scrimmage this time. So it's this is a much more traditional-looking hot pressure. But 51 and 44 are able to fit the run. Now 51 comes directly downhill. Obviously, the edge player makes a really good play here, bending Getting a piece of that running back, 51 cleans it up. Great play by the Vikings here. Another tackle for loss on one of those hot pressures. All right, here's, I think, the second to last hot quarters pressure on the day. <coughs> Excuse me. So, again, they're going to bring that same look, right? Seven on the line. This guy right here is popping. Our quarters look to two by two. This is the second time they run it against two by two. As you're going to see, the safety body comes free on the edge. Easy play here, right? The running back has to be responsible for one of those A-gap players or the B-gap players, sorry, weak. He's going to take him. There's no one left, right? Because of the way they've set the slide and the way they're working, there's nobody left for 22 on the edge. Easy play. Bang. Again, when you bring more than they've got, and I know they have six blockers here, but, right, they have to respect the fact that 43 is coming. Right, he is a primary pass rusher for the Vikings. They gotta respect that. Right. And once they've already got that motion that way, they don't have a guy for 22 on the edge. Uh, we're gonna skip this one and come back to it. This is kind of a strange one. I, I actually don't know if they're running hot quarters or hot two here. So uh we can chat about it later if you want to talk about it in the chat. Clip eighty one, just remind me of it. Actually, I take that back. That was this one. So here we go. Hot quarters right here. Same thing. Same pop. This time, the Jets get a little smart, right? The Jets now, this is the third time they've seen it. They're starting to figure it out. They go trips. They put Garrett Wilson into the boundary. They say, look, I understand that the free guy is coming from the boundary. 
right? That's the free guy. But we know if we stick Garrett Wilson over here, there's not a second guy that could possibly switch or do anything with match coverage. I'm going to get a man-to-man backside here. So they take Garrett Wilson, throw a nice speed out. Really easy pitch and catch for Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson for a first down. This is right before the half, I believe, or right after. But it led to some some points there for the uh, Jets. But again, from the back shot, right, the running back has to take a gap here. 22 comes free again. Rodgers does a great job of getting rid of the ball, getting it to the flat. Like we said, the weaknesses of these defenses are always going to be short and to the flat. Uh, but again, all offenses have to be patient and willing to take that. All right, so here we go. One more hot two against the run. This time, again, they're going to bring that, that Will-esque player right here. He's going to be the sixth guy. you got five guys on the line of scrimmage. And then your hot two players are going to be the safety dropping down to the other backer. This time is one of those times we all know sometimes when we rush the B gap, the weak B gap, it comes wide open and scot free. Again, we're going to see that three tech or that four eye. I can tell you by the back shot, he's going to cross face the guard. That will comes free. Bang, tackle for loss. This is about as easy and cheap as it gets. Again, here, right? This is basically just an underfront, right? Old school underfront. And here we go. The three tech's going to cross the guard's face. Zero's coming right down the pipe. No one there to block him. Easy tackle for loss. So again, great run pressures. These hot two pressures. Great run pressures for getting eight guys in the box. We got a few more. I'm trying to get to the last one here. Again, if you want to see this cut up, we've posted it on YouTube. We have two different YouTubes. We have the Board Drill Podcast and we have just Board Drill Cut-Ups. So check that one out. So here is the last one of the day, I believe. Right. Yeah, this is the last one today. So the Jets, again, have seen it a few times. It's going to be that same pressure, same hot pressure, right? 43 is the guy popping. Here's your quarters players right here. The Jets kind of get savvy with this one, not going to lie. They do a much better job of picking it up up, fl- up front, right? Now they're no- they know 43 is probably not coming. So we got to make sure we block the edge. So they're going to pick up the edge, and they're going to run a double move here by Garrett Wilson. And they're going to take off with it. Rodgers does a good job of separating and getting just enough time, but just doesn't quite make the throw. And again, that's what the great part about this defense is pressure, right? Pressure affects the quarterback, and even the great Aaron Rodgers struggled with pressure on the day. Here it is from the back shot. They do a pretty decent job of blocking this up. Again, it's not perfect. He's still got to kind of fade away from the guys. But really, this is a throw that typically I think Aaron Rodgers makes. But boy, he got hit a lot this day doesn't quite make the throw. I mean, this is an easy six, right? They run a double move. They get a little bit of time. And that's the thing. Again, in the hot quarters, you can see these guys, and you can watch the safety here. They're sitting flat-footed. They know pressure's coming, so they think the ball's coming out quick. Watch that break right there. And that same break happens outside, and look, boom, there's the double move. You can see it from the back end if you want to watch it one more time out here on the edge down low. See, boom, there's the throw. Okay, oh, crap. So those are some great examples of these hot pressures and really how effective they can be within the Flores defense. And now, listen, I get it. They're the NFL, and they built it out, and they have the right guys for it. But I don't think it's a stretch for guys to run it at the high school and at the college level. Obviously, they already run it at the college level. Hot two pressures are definitely at the high school level, but this this kind of new variation of hot quarters, you know, I really think it's something that could be adapted to the high school level, especially since it's simple and really – Right. The big emphasis is open field tackling, which granted, if you're a coach listening, you're like, yeah, it's, you know, all my guys could open field tackle would be a great defense. That's true. But by simplifying some aspects of the offense, you get to spend more practice time on that open field tackling element. So I do think this is something that coaches can incorporate in their defense. I think it's a really, really cool thing. And, you know, me personally, it's something that I've been spending a project on is building kind of a new defense around some of the Flores style stuff. So Guys, tell me what you think in the comments. I'm super excited to hear what people hear, but, you know, the hot quarters is here, and uh, it seems like it's here to stay with the Vikings who are undefeated, and they're, they're having a heck of a defense, or sorry, a heck of a year on defense. So I'm excited to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments. Again, this is me, Kyle, uh, for the Board Drill Podcast, signing off. Have a great night.